Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. Four of Cups. And they're disappointed because they know that they can't. The Two of Swords. What I say roadblock. This is being stuck. Stuck at a crossroads. Two of Swords is being stuck at a crossroads. Fork in the road. And somebody is disappointed. Six of Pentacles. This is their destiny swap energy. Like I said, a lot of people, they've been getting away with doing this to multiple people. Or they've done it to you multiple times. It won't work this time. I guarantee you, the energy here, the, the frequencies, the different planes, the timelines, and the dimensions that people are going to now, it, it won't work. You're too strong. But these people here, fire sign energy could be a Leo out here for sure, that are part of these groups and organizations, and they're doing these sacrificial rituals and whatever. Why? Because look, at how, here you have it. They want the Ace of Wands. They want the Ace of Pentacles. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want the fame, passion. They want the fortune. They want the legacy. But they want a lot of stuff that's not actually theirs. And here you have, there's your offering right there to the devil. Page of Pentacles. The devil. The Hierophant. These are the people who go out and they talk about God. Spirituality. But they're actually in cults. Covens, secret societies, and the devil can get them to do anything. Or, but they enjoy working for the every time they want something, every time they want an upgrade, they go and they make this offering, page of pentacles. They make an offering to the devil and like a switch. Like this person switching this um flipping this coin here. These people, when they want access to your energy for fame, fortune, to manifest something, they just go and make an offering. These people are working with these different deities or entities. This is a lot of idolatry. The people who are, are idolizing all this different stuff, whatever it may be, they're all going to fall from grace. Hierophant, Empress, Emperor, the world, Nine of Swords. You're stressed out. And you're getting this stress because of you know that there is some type of teamwork or collaboration happening in the background against you. You need to ground yourself with this hermit energy because as you can see here, God is guiding you to balance your own feminine and masculine energy and possibly guiding you into a, an actual solid connection. So you and someone both, if this is related to two different people or if you're just a divine feminine watcher or a divine masculine watching, something in your life is being completely wrapped up so that you can evolve elevate grow and move into the next cycle you're only feeling this anxiety because of whatever this investigation is that's happening in the background because you need to stay grounded right now somebody like i said in the background they're going through a tower moment there's a whole family here that's about to have a lot of burdens look at this oh my gosh because i'm almost sure if this is a ten of swords after the ten 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 i cannot make Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles. These people are holding on for dear life. This could have been someone that you was in a relationship with. This is also this, this fake Bunny and Clyde-like couple out here that thought that they could create burdens and hurt people and betray them for their own personal gain. The Eight of Wands is out here with their communication, them, them sending things out, trying to play, you know, witches, wizards, warlocks, and sorcerers and sorceress. This is over. It, it is so over. Yeah, look at this. Two of Wands in the reverse. This person can't do anything. And this is, a lot of you is somebody that keeps trying to come towards you with some type of love offer. Because they want to communicate with you. Why? Because they know they're about to have a serious ending. That's why they want your energy. They're trying to hold on to your energy because your energy has been protecting them. A lot of you, this is someone that you was once in a relationship with. They want to hold on to their energy because right now they know. And see, when you have situations like what I just mentioned come out in the public, the people who have been doing things behind closed doors, anytime you see a situation come out in the public about some type of federal indictment, other pe people who have been doing the same things, they automatically get scared because usually in those situations, you may see this, these people 
in the news, but there's going to be more of that. That means that it's, it's several other investigations happening as well. So people are afraid. That's why a lot of empaths, those who are psychic intuitives and empaths, you're, we're, we're all picking up this energy of people in the collective being frightened because they're very afraid of what's going to come out. Because they're seeing the towers happen around them. So a lot of them are just kind of sitting back wondering like, oh my goodness, when is it going to be, you know, what's going to happen with us? They're scared to drive their car. They're afraid they're going to be in a roadblock. You know, they're afraid that somebody's going to, that the SWAT team is going to be at the They're afraid because they really don't know because they've done so much stuff in the dark. And in the past, when they did all this stuff in the dark against you and other people, they could just hack into people's energy, hijack someone's energy to protect themselves. They can't do that because now the mask is off. There is no illusion anymore. The emperor, somebody's like, no, you, you, you can't create illusions anymore. You can't wear a mask. You have to accept whatever karma is yours. That's why spirit has been saying, cut the cord, cut the cord, cut the cord. Because when the SWAT team does come in, you don't need to be associated with these people. Some of you, you're being advised. You need to break up from people. You need to move away from people. You need to stop responding to certain texts and phone calls. You don't need to be out with certain people. Because God, the angels, these galactic beings, they're like, I need you out of the way. Because when we swoop down and handle this situation, you don't need to be anywhere near it. Like, you need to get out of the way. And the people who are hard-headed who are codependent and, and still remaining in toxic energy and they don't want to move, you're going to be a part. You're going to be considered as a co-conspirator with these people. And a lot of people are angry because these are some of the people that you left behind in the past. You told them, hey, you don't need to deal with that group of people. You need to be mindful of that family you're dealing with. I don't know about that job. Their job may be a front. Their business may be a front for something else. Be careful. And they know it doesn't matter. I can do what I want. I can do what I want. And now, all hell is, a break, is about to break loose. And they can't call you. These people were never even invested enough in you to even know your phone number by heart if they needed to call you. They only wanted you around for what you could do for them. They're going to be put in a position where they can't get any help from you. Not on the physical realm or the spiritual. That's the king of pentacles. Shiesty. Doing stuff in the dark. This is somebody here who has been stealing. Look at them holding their pentacle. This person has been stealing. For sure. In the dark. It's going to be exposed. This person is stuck. At a crossroads. Confused. They don't really know what to do now. This person is sitting at bars. Trying to plot. Think of this person has run out of plots, schemes, scams, and scandals. And like I said, every time they get in trouble, they say, oh, well, let me go and work with. Look, it's over. Let me go. Let me go and make an offering to this deity. Let me go and, 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 and talk to the devil and, and let the devil take over my body and give me some power. Because it's all about power. They want power. It's greed. Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, this is somebody that you was in a connection with. Look at that King of Cups. This person's like, are you serious? Because see, if you cut the cord, they don't have this divine protection because of being connected to you. They can't tap into your emotions. Remember the bottle of water. They can't get your emotions. And even if they do, it doesn't matter because the contract has already been, it, it has been destroyed. It's null and void. The cups, the water bottle, the exchange. It's the cup. This person wants your cup so that they can see. But this person gets your energy, something with your energy, your emotions to take back to the devil so that they can have your gift of sight. This is, you know, I'm trying to think what movie is that. Maybe like in Twilight. You know, a lot of people are powerful vampires or whatever but to have the gift of sight to be able to fortune tell and see the future without that 
you're at a loss because you don't know the out the the outcome of of your actions. Somebody here is probably a psychic. This person who keeps tapping into your energy, they can't see unless they make an offering to the devil. They have to do an evil deed to get sight, spiritual eyes. So when they are stuck in a situation, what they do is they go in and they make a love offer or this is someone who will try to come in and sleep with you or, you know, connect with you emotionally or energetically or spiritually, astral traveling, projecting or whatever. Someone that there has been some type of soul tie or connection. This allows them to see how they can make certain plays. Yeah. When they run out of options, they're like, let me just go back on the dark side and go over here. And and th this person pays for gifts. But look, this is the fall from grace. Queen of Wands. Because somebody here, this Queen of Wands, thought that they was going to take out this high priestess. But see, the crazy part about it is, how are you going to take out the high priestess, but you're using the energy and the gifts of the high priestess? I don't, I don't know what exactly the, the plan or plot was this time, but it seems like it was, they had a, a, a belief that they could permanently extract your spiritual eyes or your gifts somehow and, and just take ownership of it. I guess it's a lot of people who've been playing around with a lot of forbidden magic. And I don't know these groups that these people are in that's telling them that, oh, yeah, you know, if, if you do this and you get rid of this person or whatever, whatever, everything is going to be hidden. You don't have to worry about anything coming out of them. You can just take over, take over, over, over their life. No, you can't. Because see, now, like I said, you have a wand, your broom, your, your gifts. It does not work for them. You know, if you've ever seen the movie, I don't know why I'm seeing all these different movies come up. If you see Avatar, how the, they have to put the little, like, you know, whatever it is that connects them to the spirit realm, they, you know, they connect it to like the trees. It's really connecting you to spirit. Your energy has to be right. If you notice in Avatar, the guy who was, you know, I guess like the soldier or whatever, when he will go into really, if you think about Avatar, really, it's it's showing you how a, a human is going into the spirit realm, really. He could not get access to her her world if his energy wasn't right. Or even when they were flying those, um, I don't think they were dragons, but whatever they were flying, you know. If his energy wasn't right, if he wasn't balanced enough for it, he couldn't fly it. Your energy has to be of true love and light and, and balance in order for you to get access to certain things. Somebody, I'm getting this person, they keep snooping around. They keep trying to figure out what more can they do with your energy. It's like, oh, oh, I can fly? You know, oh, wow. And, and I've talked about this maybe a year ago. Somebody uses your energy to astral travel or project because they don't have the natural ability to do it or maybe they do but to have that extra boost of power they're tapping into your energy so this is siphoning and harvesting energy constantly to um amplify whatever gifts they have but this is someone who again has sold their soul most likely and they're paying for things so they do magic for their gifts the gifts that you naturally have the problem is a lot of you you didn't know that you had these gifts because when you met this person, you met the devil and the devil convinced you that you didn't have these gifts or that these gifts were bad and or, or whatever the case may be. That's changing. Five of Wands. Page of Cups. There's a very strong offer here and justice is coming people will talk about this justice is coming here because you have a very strong offer that's coming five of wands there's a lot of competition jealousy and envy 
all over something that's budding. This is like a new connection that's that's coming about. For some of you, it's a new connection that you have to spirit. It's for some of you, this page of cups can speak about psychic insights. It, do, it doesn't have to be a person or, or a baby or it, for some of you, you have a, a a gift that's coming and it's, you know, maybe you're just discovering it yourself, but it's about to get really, really strong. And whoever these people are who have been watching and monitoring your energy for so long, they can see that this gift is, is being activated. But what they were planning to do was to use it for themselves. Yeah, the three of cups. They went toasting and celebrating, thinking like, yeah, we got it. Uh-uh. This is this is all backfiring. <laughs> they quickly got a reality check that you're doing this to a high priestess, fully in their energy and power. These people thought like, yeah. I'm telling you, they moved forward thinking like everything was all good. I'm telling you, they were out celebrating. Whatever this little ritual or orgy, whatever this is that they were doing, somebody here has had a very powerful revelation. But I'm telling you what it is too, is somebody, they got access to the energy. It didn't work how they thought it would. It backfired. Somebody thought that this energy was going to give them protection, fame, and fortune. I'm telling you, they're going to be met with death, disease, and destruction all around them. This energy is going to destroy this person because they 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 don't come from where you come from. I said, I, literally, I saw like a spaceship. I was like, they, they don't come from where you come from, and the type of protection that you have. This is I'm telling again. It's like blood. It's DNA. Um, they're not covered. They're not covered by the blood. You know what I'm saying? God is like, who are you? I don't know you. <laughs> what do you think this was? King of Pentacles, Strength card, Knight of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. Something here is completely out of control. Completely. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles with the Strength card here. Definitely an earth sign person out here. August could be significant, but there's for sure an earth sign out here and a Leo. And these people I'm hearing, <laughs> they're being blinded by your neon lights. Because whoever you are, I'm telling you, it's something about these galactic beings. You see all these stars around this person? You've been crowned. There, there are some people, there are some ascended masters or spirit guides or something you've you've elevated to another dimension or something whatever this is like that somebody is doing you're completely out of this matrix like you're you're out of this world at this point so when this person rushed to do something to tap into your emotions your psyche or whatever they tried to do they instantly got caught instantly because they tried to do this why because they wanted some money they were trying to take your your legacy your future your stability because they see it coming they already see they're like oh the ace of pentacles ace of wands so somebody is looking in your future and they're like yeah that person has something really good coming let me have it let me have it boom they got caught oh and they they, they this was carefully carefully thought out and planned and um, there's something about this person being able to do a reversal. You can't reverse this. The reversal doesn't work. Um, trying to layer whatever the spell works. Nothing works. This person can go get an army of witches, wizards, and warlocks, and it's, nothing is going to work. It's done. I'm hearing back to the future. This this with these, like, with that star energy, because, again, it's like back to the future. Um... When you think about light workers, these are like ancient souls that have already been here. They know what's to come. They're here to help people go into the future with a new mindset. So you're dealing with a person who thinks that like they're going to, 
go into the future. You've already been there. And they don't even have the spiritual eyes to see what's ahead. Does it, I hope that makes sense. And it's funny because I think last week I went to the movies that I saw Indiana Jones. This this person has probably been paying, playing a lot with time. And in the movie, I won't ruin it. Any, well, in the movie, pretty much, these people using, you know, sacred geometry, time, or whatever. You know, different... Like now, people, are, they're, they're trying to tap into all this ancient and forbidden magic. But... What do you do if you are so greedy to be a pioneer at something, the first or the best at something, and your greed for power? And what exact? What do you do if like your calculations and everything are wrong? Let's say you can turn back time. What do you do if you go back to the wrong time? That's that's this energy here. Somebody has been manipulating something with consciousness. Timing, trying to trap people, but it's like you're doing this to somebody who has already been to the future and they've come back. I know somebody out here can understand what I'm saying because this this is just coming to me right now, but I'm seeing it. Somebody already knows what lies ahead, so and, and it, it's it's simple too because it's just like your birthright. You know, when you pray, you ask God, give me your dreams. Somebody has already seen what's for them. They already know their portion. God has already given you the address. <laughs> you already got the, the alert that this roadblock was going to be there. They didn't, though. I don't know why this roadblock energy keeps coming up, though. Somebody could be found with something that shouldn't be in their car. With something. And it's it's this energy of, you know, it being a group. You know, oh, man, don't go that way. Don't do this. Don't do it. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't go on the road, like, whether you try to get away in a car, on foot, or whatever. It, it's somebody in the air going to get you, on the ground going to get you. It doesn't matter. Earth, wind, fire, it doesn't matter. And there's some, something here has happened with these different beings. They're coming out the water. They're coming the, the the trees. Everything around us right now has shifted and everything is alive. Everything. What I say? Everything is alive. Everything is seen. Everything is known. Somebody here is dealing with a person who has all has come back from the future. Some of you could be a divine feminine. There's a divine masculine in your energy. Because I'm being I'm remembering a reading that I did. It's probably been over six months ago. And I talked about like a divine masculine who's like a galactic being of some sort. This is giving very much like ET phone home type. And somebody thinks that like they're going to attack you, but you've already been chosen by this chosen one, this galactic being. So it's almost like this person, if that's your, if that's your story, this person already knows that you have this demonic person doing all of this stuff to you. They already know. And whoever this person is, is doing this to you, they haven't been to the future before. Somebody has been to, is coming back from the future who has way more power, way more magic, way more resources. They dominate the spiritual realm. And you got somebody out here that's always pressed about earthly things. They're no match for you or whoever this is that may be protecting you. They're no match. You're not even in this world. <laughs> you're, you're, you're out of here. Look, double masculine. Y'all, I know what I be talking about. Sometimes I really don't know what I'm talking about, but it comes out the way it needs to come out. What did I just say? It's a masculine out here that's like, who did you think you was playing with? 
this person, like whatever their ranking is in the spirit, they're like, who did you think you was actually playing with? You didn't know? I called the shot. It's like somebody doing a lot of stuff to you in the earth realm and they can't, they can't win their stuff. Like, I'm going to go and play with you in the spirit realm. They don't know that your protection in the spiritual realm is out, is out, of, out of this world. Everybody is, is standing by like, it's nothing. And, and if you are in some kind of divine connection, perhaps that person's protection becomes your protection. So depending on whatever type of being or whatever family or bloodline this person comes from, it's protecting you or yours is protecting them however it goes. This person can't touch you. This is completely over. I don't know who this Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this, this King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles is. They're showing up all over this reading. But every single thing that they've ever done, moon cycle behind the dark, in wherever, however, it's over. And some of you, like I said, you're connecting. If it's not like a divine counterpart, there's just someone in the spirit realm that is protecting you. And this could be like a father, grandfather. It looks like, look at this. This could be like a father. A, this could be a masculine, their father, and their grandfather. Somebody, oh, okay. There we have it. <laughs> Somebody is like, you playing with who? Like, this is the devil. This king of pentacles is shape-shifting. But you out here dealing with somebody that is like a whole sun god. And they come from a bloodline of official people. This is a royal blood. These are like, I don't know what, what, what these people are. But somebody is like, like I said E.T. Fall. Somebody is like, listen. Somebody is out here either playing with me or playing with somebody I care about. It's like, seriously, just put in a word. That's it. This is somebody here who, like, their prayers will shake everything. Everything will go up in smoke if you ever push this person. And this person is all light. This, this, the, the, um, this is not a dark person. It's the sun. This isn't a dark person. This person will destroy you with light and love. This is somebody here who, who's praying. I have another reading from last year. I was talking, it's like the battle of a wizard and a warlock. The battle between a warlock and like a priest. This person will destroy this dark person. And that's exactly what's happening. Listen. Somebody's like, who was messing with my baby? Who? Oh, okay. This person's like, well, if, if I can't get there, my dad will get there. My great, 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 great grandfather, somebody from, hell, a million years ago will get, it doesn't matter. Because somebody is playing with time. It's like, you don't understand. This person is protected in every plane, every timeline, every single dimension on every realm. This person is good in every hood. There's nothing you can do. Somebody is trying to take you back to a time when you weren't protected. Or they want to try to get you into some other dimension, a lower level dimension or something like that where you're not protected. And it's like, no, this person is protected everywhere. Everywhere this person is protected. And if this isn't you... If you yourself didn't have this protection, you've connected with someone that has it and they're extending it now to you. I don't know, like I said, if this is someone's like divine master, especially if you're a divine feminine, this or or this is like um your forefathers. I don't know. Take it however, but there's this masculine here that's like there is absolutely no way you will touch this person. You have the sun here and the star. The sun and the star? And somebody has been in the background trying to destroy whatever plans God has already said are to be carried out for the sun and the star.
And here's the sun. Wow. The sun, the star, baby sun. So some of you are supposed to have a child. A golden child. I don't know. Some type of star seed, indigo child, or whatever. Rainbow child, or whatever. You're, it's something here. Two, two suns and a star here. And uh, think about it. Like I said, this right here, this galactic being, they have to pass this DNA to start. Th th these are this is a hybrid like situation with this child. This person had th this this masculine is giving their seed to this star, and they're gonna produce this son child. And somebody thought that it was a good idea for them to keep hiding in the shadows, trying to sabotage this. Worst thing they could have ever done. Because look, you're going to get confirmation very soon. Someone's energy is so balanced because this is some kind of angel, galactic being, alien, whatever it is. This person can move a mountain if they want to. They can put things back together. They can destroy it too. King of Swords. That's that Archangel Michael energy as well. And somebody is like, whoa, they, they're, they're constantly trying to get a look. But somebody constantly trying to get a look at this Queen of Cups, it just destroyed them. Because they've been caught. Somebody's like, you're not going to keep spiritually spying on this person. Because as I said in the beginning, whoever this is, they make deals with the devil to, sp to spiritually spy on a divine feminine and or masculine or to use your gifts for their own personal gain. Somebody now has become hip to this and they're like, wait a minute. So identity for somebody's like, so you've been signing checks and documents and everything else with this person's signature, their energetic signature. You've been caught. Caught. And it's, it's two people here. The sun and the star. They're like, you've been caught. Because you keep trying to steal something from this person. And if you're stealing from one, you're stealing from both of them. You're stealing this divine feminist energy. You're blocking a whole, like, bloodline here. The star. The, the lovers. Wow. The attack will not work. It did not work. Somebody here is going to still be very happy, prosperous, abundant, able to manifest because they call justice on this situation. Whoever this is, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, I'm getting heavy Taurus, Capricorn energy. This person, they have no idea what they've done. Look, it came out again. It's over. Whatever entity this person has used that they've worked with, it's over. And if they've been paying somebody to do it, it's over. Judgment is here for everything that they've done in the dark. Yeah. Everything. Being arrogant. And always stalking and spying. This is somebody who's been sending out monitoring spirits and familiars and they shape shifting and all this stuff that they've sent out is all going to be returned because they keep working with some kind of entity here. Like I said, this person is um dest like their body jumping, swapping. This person has become a master at um sending their spiritual like their consciousness out. To do dirty work. That's what they do. This person has become very, very skilled, most likely at um astral traveling and remote viewing. Cause I'm seeing this show now behind her eyes. This is somebody literally who has like when they want to, they will take over another person's body completely. And I feel for some people, and I said this a few days ago, this person definitely stole something from you. 
You know how I say sometimes you it's like you look at a person you know for a sure fact like they're living your life. This person stole your star. We talked about this the other day, your soul gate portal. This person stole your like your your crown, but you you gotten it back. They stole it. There was something that was a part of your destiny. That at a time when you didn't have the spiritual strength that you have now, they took it. They took your contract, no doubt. They took it. They co they're coming back around now to do it again. Spirit said, not, not today. You're too strong for this. You upgraded. You evolved right on time. And not only that, you have people, a part of your soul group and family, that are also surrounding you and protecting you. This person has absolutely no way to get this. And they like to rush in and do this to cause these endings for you. And whatever this is, when you look at all this earth energy, this is a creature of heaven. They do this religiously, ritualistically. See, Leo season is coming up. They want the fame. They want the fortune. They want the money. Here it is. Give me the power. I want the power. Give me the money. I need it. This is going to set me up for the next eight to ten years. I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> uh-uh. They're going to face judgment. Because, really, they're going to face judgment for thinking that they had this in the bag when they don't. Because what you actually have done not is someone has awakened a whole group of, of angels and galactic beings. These people are coming from everywhere. Like I said, they're coming out the water, the trees. The rivers, the like, they're coming from everywhere. And they're like, we will balance this situation out by any means necessary. Somebody is really fighting for this divine feminine. Somebody is taking blows for you, divine feminine. Because I feel like somebody out there, they truly love you. And they can see that someone is constantly watching your will of fortune. But someone's will of fortune is tied to yours. That's the contract. See, somebody knew that you were that you were a divine counterpart or some type of supernatural being, whatever. They stole your destiny and they tried to go and be, like I said, like in some kind of bunny clyde knockoff relationship with somebody else. And they thought it would never, they thought that you would never catch on. They didn't think that you would ever come back to to claim. <laughs> They, they didn't think you would ever come back to get your throne. See, this this sort of like, even if you, again, like Isis and Osiris with um, Seth. When Seth got Osiris in that box and sent him out there to the Nile River and chopped his body up. They He didn't think that he would ever come back in any kind of way. See, they didn't, uh, he didn't, they didn't know the power of Isis, her healing power. Isis went in and was able to get other people to help Put Osiris's body back together. And they were able to conceive a child Horus. Osiris was the king though. Somebody didn't think that, that like, again, somebody has stolen a person's destiny. And they didn't think that the person would ever come back for it. It's over. Somebody has to pay you everything that they ever took back from you in the past. And your, your future will be secure because they'll never be able to touch anything else of yours. Yeah. See, Leo season is, is starting in the next two weeks. We just had the Capricorn full moon and there's a um, Cancer new moon coming up. So they're everybody's scrambling right now trying to make sure that you don't have an awakening. But see, the hangman is here. It's in the reverse. There, you won't have any delays. You're free from whatever this is. These people are trying really hard right now to cover up what they can before it's exposed in Leo season. Because what they want to do is hide everything that they've been doing in the dark. And like I said, claim all of your victory re rewards and success. And steal your energy to manifest something for themselves because you've cut the cord. So whatever seven to ten year cycle you've been in with someone, it's been cut. Somebody literally has been living your life. 
perhaps for the last seven, the wheel of 10 years or close to it. They were coming in once again to say, hey, it's time to re-up. This person is kicked out of your energy. They never thought that would happen. Hierophant. It's a Taurus out here. This person is disappointed. Because look, they got the cup. They got the energy. It didn't do what they thought it was going to do. They're looking at it like, come on, work. There's somebody that said that I thought I'm about to astral travel and, and do this and do that. Just like the example I gave. I gave them. Here, here's the water. Take it. Because I already know you can't do anything with it. Take it. Take the water and you can go and knock on everybody's door in this neighborhood. You can't do anything with it. But drink it. It's not going to bring you any more sales. Nobody's going to open their door. It doesn't matter. Well, my garage door opened, like I said, another, take it. Take the garage door opener. You can have it. Even if you try to program the garage door opener, to, you don't even have the same garage. It doesn't matter. You can't do anything with what's mine. These are people who don't understand this about you. You can't do anything with someone's energy or steal their destiny when they're looking right at you. Or they have a connection with God, angels, ancestors, gods, ascending masters. Everybody's looking at you. Make a complete fool of yourself. And it's interesting. You have to know that the karma this time, for someone to have been able to do this for at least 10 years, for some people more than this, it's like God was really building a case on this person. For somebody to have been able to do all of this for this long. The high priestess. 10 years of secrets. It's over. Hierophant. Look at this person. Same person here. 10 years of secrets. Hidden. With magic. Boom. Comes out all at once. Archangel Michael said what? You, oh, you thought it was hidden? No. Archangel Michael took his sword and he, he went and unlocked every single chest, every single treasure trunk that you had any kind of secret in. And it's all coming out. Magician. Page of Pentacles. I'm telling somebody I was holding on to this energy for dear life. King of Wands. But this magician here, this is manifestation work. Somebody who has an offer for you, they've held on tightly to this offer. This King of Wands is looking right at the Queen of Wands, who they know is a divine feminine. This is a pair. And somebody here was trying to cause illusions so that this divine feminine wouldn't know who the, who they actually are. Somebody knew all along. But the end is here. Death. Somebody's like, no, you did too much. You cannot and you will not get out of this. You did too much. You must experience this loss. Because somebody here was a professional. Somebody wanted to. <laughs> it, it, it was their, their job to destroy things. Wow. Evidence. <laughs> Coach, pride, prideful, egotistical. This is someone who goes out and says that, you know, they're going to coach other people on, on how to have self-worth and self-esteem and how to build businesses, just like that, that um, couple that we talked about before. Out here literally paying people to take other people out. 
It's evidence of this. Investigations. Of where these individuals have gone online or whatever. Went to conferences, web, um, workshops, whatever. Stolen information. I'm getting there for somebody here. There could have been something that someone has done. They've gone to several different um, conferences, workshops, done webinars and everything else and stole the information that somebody else took all this pride in to um, creating. These people go right behind their back and they steal the content and sell it as their own. Anything for money, but justice is being served. Some of you, you could be a content creator and these people, they've stolen your content, uploaded it as their own, tweaked it and made money off of it. Just whatever they, just did whatever. These people probably travel a lot. They travel to go and do this type of stuff. Third wheel, third party situation, a karmic somewhere. Curse. Some idiot here, they, they promised to curse someone <laughs> if they would just stop talking to you. <laughs> Some foolishness. <laughs> if you just stop talking to that person, if you just leave that person alone, you know, I'll go and, and do whatever you want. Yeah, now there's evidence. Th this is that pathetic type of energy. You know, if, if you just leave that person in the cold, I'll buy you anything you want. And now these people are sick and going through natural disasters. They have incurable diseases. But somebody you told them, stop dealing with that person. Don't accept any type of help from that person. Or somebody at a time where they feel like they needed help. This third wheel Jezebel energy came right now. I'll do anything you want me to do. And because this person was going through some kind of loss, feeling overwhelmed, they decided, okay, we can get rich quick together. And they fell for this. They took the bait. They fell for it. And this is someone here for sure, a masculine. That This is like a narcissist who, who met their match. This is definitely a situation where somebody came in to selling this person drink. You know, if you just leave that person alone, that person doesn't really have your back. I'll, I'm ride or die for you. And this masculine in a time of needing help or whatever, they was like, okay, cool. They probably did some, some projects together. Like I said, traveled, went to some conferences, webinars, learned something together, new line of study. But somewhere they got into the occult and some other things as well. They wanted the money so bad. They started doing other things that they shouldn't have been doing. And this masculine and whoever this person, they were perfectly fine with doing this against this divine feminine and or masculine. Somebody has been siphoning the energy and, and energy harvesting off of a divine feminine. And as long as this divine feminine has been single, most likely, and a total victim to this situation, it has worked. But somebody, there's a, a divine being or protector had, who has come in and has seen what has been happening to this divine feminine. And these people now, they're upset because they, it's like this divine feminine is, is their jackpot. This is a couple doing this to this person. Like I said, these are definitely people who could be stealing someone's content, using their energy or whatever. Somebody is making, has made a lot of money off of someone's content or off their energy or something that they have, or they've stolen something, whatever it is. I'm telling you, they have literally <laughs> been living the lifestyle that someone else should have. And I feel like this is happening to a divine feminine as well as a divine masculine. Those who are, are these divine beings the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Everybody is going back and they're getting their stars back. Courtship, toil and labor. Yeah. Somebody here was willing to do whatever it took to be in this courtship so that they could be privileged. And now it's going to take them to jail. 
Because somebody here was willing to do whatever it took to stop this man from thinking about a divine feminine. And they was like, I tell you, well, let's just join a coven, whatever. Let's start making sacrifices. Because this person, all she wanted was the money. That's it. I'm, t I'm seeing exactly what happened. This man is in despair now because everything is going to end. This entire journey, it ends. Why? Because they're not a person of high honor. The only way this masculine could have really been a person of high honor was if they were with this divine feminine. They traded this divine feminine in for somebody who wanted to be privileged. These people, they could be married, but they may not be. But they're definitely in some kind of courtship, pretending in the community, working very hard for security, stability. They may live together. They may sell houses. I'm getting real estate workshops and, or something like that. This person didn't want to be on this journey to high honor. Everything is going to crash and burn now. Because this Jezebel energy came in and told this man, if you just stop thinking about their divine feminine and what kind of life you could have, we can have the same life. We can have a better life. Let's work together. Let's travel the world together. We can change everything in our life and our community. This man could have been someone who's like a, who has a rap sheet. They could, um, have like a criminal background or something like that. Whoever this person is <laughs> told this person, I can help make all your dreams come true. It was a witch. <laughs> what I say? False person. I can make all your dreams come true. All you gotta do is leave the divine feminine. Somebody didn't realize though, leaving the divine feminine, you left behind your divine blessings. They did realize that and then they tried to go in and steal it from the divine feminine. That's where the problems really came in. We're seeing exactly what's happening. I hope now that we know this, look, these people, they stole a contract, a marriage because of this secret society that they were in. They were, they were told exactly how to do this. They were told how to do it. And most likely now, they're telling other people how to do it. This person was taught how to do this. This person was taught how to do this um, astral traveling, projecting, destiny swapping. They were taught how to do this. But you know what? This person got so greedy. Now, they've become the official person. They're now teaching other people how to do it. Isn't that sick? This pretty, these people have businesses, they're coaches, business people, investors, whatever. But in behind closed doors, in the middle of the night, they're doing other things in the spirit realm that they've been taught how to do. And now they're teaching other people how to do it because they're all a part of this secret society, this cult coven or whatever. They all know how to do this. <laughs> 